Hello everyone, Sangeeta Joyce here. Uh, today's topic for discussion is Uronic Acid Pathway, which is also known as Glucuronic Acid Pathway. The definition for Uronic Acid Pathway, uh, this is the pathway which occurs in liver for the conversion of glucose to uronic acid and ascorbic acid. This uh, synthesis of ascorbic acid which does not occurs in human beings and other primate and also in guinea pigs the synthesis of ascorbic acid does not occur otherwise remember the definition is which is an alternative oxidation pathway of glucose for the synthesis of glucuronic acid ascorbic acid and also pentoses like xylulose and remember which occurs in liver cytoplasm there is no atp protection in this pathway now coming to the reactions of pathway. First of all, glucose 6-phosphate which is converted into glucose 1-phosphate which is a simple isomeric reaction catalyzed by the enzyme phosphoglucomutase. Here the phosphate group from the 6th carbon atom will be moved to the 1st carbon atom. Then the second reaction is here. The glucose 1 phosphate will be getting activated into UDP glucose by the enzyme UDP glucose pyrophosphorylase enzyme with the catalysis or conversion of uridine triphosphate to, to inorganic pyrophosphate. And the product is UDP glucose. Then, now the next reaction is that the UDP glucose is oxidized to glucuronic acid udp glucuronic acid which is catalyzed by the enzyme udp glucose dehydrogenase enzyme and here the coenzyme which is accepting the hydrogen atom can be either nad or nadp and itself can be converted into nadph or nadh and the next reaction is that this glucuronic acid or UDP glucuronic acid is reduced to L-gulonate by the enzyme NADPH dependent enzyme gulonate dehydrogenase enzyme. This pathway is incomplete. I will show the uh, complete pathway in the coming slides. Now let's see the uronic acid pathway in detail. So this is again once again let me discuss the first reaction that is the activation of uh, glucose to UDP glucose okay which is already discussed and just show this picture because udp glucuronic acid having lots of significance in human body that will be explaining in the coming slides okay uh, let us discuss the whole uronic acid pathway the first reaction is a simple isomerization of alpha d glucose 6 phosphate to glucose 1 phosphate by phosphoglucomutase enzyme then what happened this glucose 1 phosphate which react with the uridine triphosphate to form uridine diphosphate glucose that is known as UDP glucose the catalysis of UTP to inorganic pyrophosphate and the reaction which is catalyzed by the enzyme UDP glucose pyrophosphorylase enzyme then next this UDP glucose is oxidized to glucuronic acid here you can see initially the oxidation with the help of enzyme UDP glucose dehydrogenase enzyme which is an NAD dependent enzyme. Then next is a non-enzymatic reaction with the hydrolysis of this uridine diphosphate glucuronic acid immediately takes away the UDP part from it and itself converted into D-glucuronic acid. Now this Glucuronic acid or glucuronate is reduced to L-gulonate. You can see reduced to L-gulonate by the enzyme that is gulonate dehydrogenase enzyme which is an NADPH dependent enzyme. Now this L-gulonate having multiple or different two different fate. Okay, you can see D-glucuronate with the help of gulonate dehydrogenase itself converted into L-gulonic acid. Now, this L-gulonic acid is the precursor for ascorbic acid. That is, 
vitamin C. So this vitamin C synthesis occurs in those animals, those who are capable of synthesizing this vitamin. Remember, this specific enzyme which is responsible for the synthesis of ascorbic acid is absent in human beings and other primates and also guinea pigs. So in humans and other primates, ascorbic acid cannot be synthesized because of the an enzyme, specific enzyme, l gulonolactone oxidase enzyme. Remember, l gulonolactone oxidase enzyme is absent in human being. That is why from gulonic acid or l gulonic acid vitamin C cannot be synthesized in human body. Okay, now next is that this l gulonic acid is oxidized and decarboxylated to the pentose that is L xylulose by the enzyme L gulonate decarboxylase enzyme. Okay, so this is the second reaction where L gulonic acid undergoing oxidative decarboxylation. Oxidation also simultaneously decarboxylation also and to fo form a specific pentose sugar that is known as L xylulose. The enzyme catalyzing this reaction is L gulonate decarboxylase enzyme. Okay, next, what happens next is this L-xylulose which is reduced to xylitol by the enzyme L-xylulose dehydrogenase enzyme which is again an NADPH dependent enzyme. Okay, and this reaction is actually a reversible reaction. Next, this xylitol is oxidized to D xylulose by another enzyme that is xylulose dehydrogenase enzyme which is again an NAD dependent D xylulose dehydrogenase enzyme. Then the xylulose formed is further phosphorylated by the ATP molecule in presence of the enzyme xylulose kinase enzyme to form D xylulose 5 phosphate. Okay, and this enzyme, xylulose kinase enzyme is actually, it requires magnesium as the cofactor. Okay, and this d xylulose 5-phosphate can be further metabolized in HMB shun pathway and can lead to the formation of glucose. Okay, so this is a whole pathway which explaining the uronic acid pathway. So here you can see one importance the specific enzyme, xylulose dehydrogenase enzyme deficiency can lead to a specific inborn error of metabolism which associated with the uronic acid pathway that is known as essential pentosuria. We will discuss that in the coming slides. So essential pentosuria is a benign or harmless inborn error of metabolism. So here uh, what happens due to the deficiency of enzymes xylitol dehydrogenase and the xylulose reductase enzyme there was a small mistake in the pathway so the enzyme is xylulose reductase and xylitol dehydrogenase so deficiency of these enzyme can cause the accumulation of xylulose which cannot be converted into xylitol so the affected affected individuals excrete large amounts of l xylulose in urine and being a reducing substance which can give a benedict test positive And usually essential pentasuria is asymptomatic and certain drugs like barbiturates, aminopyrin, etc. can induce uronic acid pathway so which can increase the excretion of L-xylulose. And this essential pentasuria is one among the Garrett's tetrad. So Garrett's tetrad which including four inborn error of metabolism that is kappa, C for cystinuria, A for albinism, then P for pentosuria and A for alkaptinuria. Again, a small mistake here. I am not able to correct it in this slide. That is, it is not albuminuria. It is albinism. Then, incidence 1 in 2500. And how to detect the presence of this pentosis in urine? There is one test other than this uh, Benedict test that is known as Bial's test. It is discovered by Manfred Bayal, the scientist. 
and this Bayer's reagent which consists of orsinol and hydrochloric acid and ferric chloride and this is based on the furfural formation principle is furfural formation one among the tests for detecting the presence of carbohydrate furfural development that is in presence of hydrochloric acid sugar to form furfural and in presence of orsinol which gives a specific test that is Bayal's test okay once again the lab test including benedict test which is positive then Bayal's test that is specific for pendosus which gives a specific blue color then even paper chromatography Now let us discuss the biological significance of uronic acid pathway. So in previous slide I said the in between the intermediate of uronic acid pathway is the production of UDP glucuronic acid. So this UDP glucuronic acid is a metabolically active form of glucuronic acid and this can enters in various uh, pathways like for the synthesis of mucopolysaccharides then detoxification of Detoxification by conjugation that is one of the xenobiotic me uh, mechanism by which the toxic compounds can be become water soluble and make in toxic or non toxic substance. So here the UDP glucuronic acid is used to detoxify certain substances specifically the steroid hormones and certain drugs toxins etc. And also UDP glucuronic acid can be it's mainly used in human body for the conjugation of bilirubin. Bilirubin which is the end product of heme catabolism and which is actually in excess amount which is toxic to human body usually it is water insoluble. This bilirubin can be conjugated with the UDP glucuronic acid in liver cells and make the bilirubin into a water soluble one which can be excreted through the intestine along with the bile and the final fate of bilirubin is that it can be excreted either in the form of urobilinogen or stercobilinogen and also uronic acid pathway is mainly meant for the formation of pentoses so we have seen the end product is actually that is xylulose 5-phosphate which could enter into HMB shunt pathway and also for the formation of vitamin C in plants and animals except man and guinea pigs conjugation with the glucuronic acid i said it has a specific role in conjugation reaction or specifically the phase 2 detoxification reaction so glucuronic acid take part in conjugation with the xenobiotics or any foreign substances like drugs chemicals pollutants food additives carcinogen glucuronyl etc and the enzyme specifically glucuronyl transferase is the enzyme which catalyzing the conjugation of udp glucuronic acid with all these things and which making the toxic and insoluble compound into a non-toxic and soluble compound and which can be easily excreted this is the example given bilirubin plus d glucuronic acid to form mono or di then Second one, benzoic acid plus D glucuronic acid to form benzyl glucuronate. Drugs and other xenobiotics initially hydroxylated by monooxygenase cytochrome P450 enzymatic system and then which can conjugate with the glucuronic acid. 
and I told it is mainly used for the synthesis of mucopolysaccharides. If you remember, UDP glucuronic acid act as a donor in liver and matrices of cartilages and bonds, specifically for the synthesis of mucopolysaccharides such as hyaluronic acid, chondroitin, chondroitin sulfate and heparin also. Dermatin sulfate, UDP and hyaluronic acid is present. Thank you. This is all about uronic acid pathway and its significance. Usually, uronic acid pathway significance can be asked as a university question. And also, essential pentosuria can be asked for a short answer question. Thank you.